Hello everyone. I'm going to do something that I haven't seen online yet. Um, it had me questioning when I was trying to figure out if I wanted to go JBC or not. Um, I was trying to figure out, you know, since I've been a lifelong Hako user, um, the difference in the hand tools. Um, so these are the most common hand tools that I use and that a lot of people use. Um, these get used a lot. These are my Hako FM2023 uh, tweezers. They have a real short stroke. The tips come in, out, lock in place. Really easy, simple to use. And I just got these in. These are the JBC AM 120As. Uh, 27 is the current production date code. I just got these in from Spain. Um, uh, tips don't quite close. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what tips I'm, I'm going to be using. Um, but yeah, that is... I've tried adjusting, figuring it out. I'm so used to the tips being able to close so I can reach in and get very tiny parts with these. Um, I've only got like two other sets of tips, but these are my most common use tips. Um, tip stick out is a little bit longer on the Hako than the JBC. Um, so I'm, I'm still on the fence on the JBC. Trying to get that to focus in there. But nobody's given you a side-by-side -side comparison online that I could find. Um, the Hako does have a normally closed feature to where you can hold the part and then release. I rarely use that, so it's kind of one of those features that it's kind of cool, but it's rarely used. Um, but size comparison is right there. The next one up. is the FM 2032. Compare that to the JBC T210. Both of these have a knife. This is the smallest knife JBC has, which is slightly bigger than the knife that, uh, Hako has. The stick out on the Hako is quite a bit further than the JBC. Um, the diameter with the grip, a little bit larger diameter. But that's the FM 32, 2032 to the T210. Then the next one is a common one. This is the Hako FM 2027. This is a 1.2 uh, chisel tip. That's my most common used tip on this iron. Here is the T245. That is, both those tips are the same, are supposed to be 1.2 1, 1 millimeter. Stick out's pretty comparable. Um, with the soft grip, it's about equal to the FM2027. So that's the Hako FM2027 and JBC T245. And up next is the desoldering tool. Let me get these out of the way here. This is the Hako FM2024. It's a really good uh, lightweight desoldering tool for doing uh, small circuit boards, nothing with 
huge ground planes. Vintage older stuff's awesome with this. With the phenolic board, it's not, it won't overpower uh, to peel traces. Um, it's all around a good tool. Um, to change the tip on the FM2024, you just push this button and pull it off. There's a little plastic piece right here. So when it is warm, come on, get back in there. Hard to do this with the camera. Then you can remove it while it's hot. To empty the reservoir, you just pull back and usually just chuck that or clean it out. I, I try to clean it out every time I use it. That way it's, they last a little longer on the filters. So compare that to the DS360A with the JBC. And the JBC DS360A, oh, back to the FM2024, the FM2024, there are your buttons right here. And you also have a pistol grip handle that locks in so you can use it as a pistol grip, um, which makes it a little bit more ergonomic. Um, and then that just slides off. Now the DS360 don't have a pistol grip option, but I think somebody could 3D print something. Um, I like where the button is on it compared to back here. The tips are a little odd. They're a compression fit, so kind of goes old school. They just pop off. They're really, really little, but they're very inexpensive. These tips, you get, what, a five or ten pack of them for very, very little cost. Um, they slip on nice. These, these cartridges here are about 80 bucks versus these are really inexpensive. Um, for emptying this, you just take this out and empty it. There is a cardboard tube, and you just clean that off. I wish this tube was glass. I don't know if they will make them in glass, but I think I think you get a piece of glass to to do that because this, this has got very little use on it, and it's already starting to burn up at the tip. Um, these are not too well built. I've noticed this one's already cracking, and I've only got maybe a hundred desolder, uh, hundred cycles on it. So, but if I recall, these are not too expensive, and I don't think you can take these uh, cotton packing out of these. So, I think somebody that blows glass could actually really make these out of glass and make them. Uh, really nice if that was class so then you've got the ds or dr 560 out of focus again probably there we go i hope that ds 360 was in focus um this is a beast um this puts out it's got some power um i've used it quite a bit so far it's due for a cleaning i haven't cleaned it yet but it's a little bit more involved to clean um, the tube in here is glass um, so there you guys go i hope that helps you make your decision in the future if you want to go hako or jbc um, these are the comparable tools i wish somebody had this uh, when i was trying to decide what to go with, um, especially before I got the DS or DR560. I wish I would have just went with the uh, DS360 because that would have saved about $800. So, okay guys, uh, please like and subscribe if you find this useful. Have a good day.